Angela would like to say a few words in the form of a poem. All right, let it be so. Um, so Joey and I were at a recreational mathematics convention last weekend, um, which is really cool. Um, I thought you were going to say a recreational marijuana convention. <laughs> <laughs> the folks at immigration thought I said meth instead of math and almost didn't let me in the UK. <laughs> Uh, but this is a, a love poem because there's like a rule that 95% of all poems have to be about love. Uh, unfortunately, uh, love is a little bit more complicated than mathematics, although it's still almost as fun. Okay, okay, maybe it's a, it's a bit more fun. Um, but love is not mathematics, and it's hardly ever less than three. Rarely stops at man and woman, straight and gay, or you and me. Churning contradictions, clogging tubes in the definery that's turning quantum LGBT qubits into binary. Every single Boolean's in every state at once, and even when the Boolean's not single, it's still unsettlingly odd, and when it's not odd, then it is not even even. Oh my god, it's never simple, nothing ever seems to normalize. I miss the clever symbols in the system that I formalized, and this I do not understand. It's just too complicated. I'm very good at solving, so it must be who I dated. Yes, love is not mathematics, but forgive it all confusion. Don't avoid all that dramatics for the trivial solution. Its axioms are ill-defined, but may prove good or may prove well, if with your love, you're thrilled to find you never have to prove yourself. Yes! Ooh. I love you! You're awesome!